Okay, I'm up here on the roof of a 2022 Wonder uh, rear lounge. And this is the Dometic air conditioner. And I'm putting a micro air easy start on this morning. And I've already removed the four screws that hold the cover on. And now I'm going to be installing the easy start. So I have it right here. It's windy here today and I'm all by myself on the roof so you'll just have to bear with me <clears throat> but we are going to be installing you have to see where the easy start will fit I usually see about installing it right in this corner or on this opposing wall over here and this little, where is it? Yeah, this little blob of putty. We're gonna be pulling, pulling back and putting the wire through there. It's a, it's about in the middle of the um, uh, unit right there. So let me see where that's gonna fit. I'll come back. Okay. Uh, the Easy Start comes uh, in the installation kit with this double-sided tape, so I've already stuck that on. Now I'm going to use some blue painter's tape to tape up these ends to make it an, an end that I can push through the hole. Okay, I have stuck the micro -air Easy Start in this corner, and you can just lightly, slightly, very slightly bend this. Uh, if you need a little bit more clearance, but you you don't want it touching, you know, because it's it's going to vibrate. And then I uh, push the wire through the hole. You can see it comes out on the other side. And now I'm going to be routing it, following these wires over to this location, and I'll be zip tying them in place. Okay, so I have all the putty push back around where I push the holes through and then I zip tied the cable and now it's going to come in around through this panel so I'm going to use a 5 16 uh, nut driver head to take these two screws off and pull this panel back okay so I have peeled the panel back to expose what we're going to be working on uh, but the first thing I have to do is remove this grommet and get this cable brought through this hole I actually used a pair of needle nose pliers and a flathead screwdriver to pry and pull to get this out now when you get the easy start installation kit they give you this little grommet a new grommet to go to protect these wires you always want to make sure you do get the Easy Start installation kit. Uh, so look at, um, uh, the, you know, open your box and see if it's in there. Because if you order it from Amazon, it's supposed to be included. And then if you didn't get it, call the company and make them send it to you. I've added these two diagrams to show you the wiring that I'm using for the Easy Start. Okay, the first thing I always start with is removing all the wires from this black start capacitor. So I'll see if I can do it and hold the camera. Alright, so first you want to remove... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand. This is just going to pull out. Okay, so first we're going to remove the red wire from this see how this has a red wire that goes to this black capacitor and then it has a, a red wire that goes over to the silver capacitor so we're going to remove that from the silver capacitor and from the black capacitor remove the red wire then there is a purple we're also going to remove the white wire it's connect also connected from the black to the silver. Then we're going to move this little 
purple wire over to this C, C terminal. So I'll do that and come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so like I said, now we're going to move this purple wire from the black capacitor and you're going to put it on a vacant position on the C on this up front C terminal. You can go ahead and unthread it. But this is the C terminal. You can see there's a little I can't get it to focus, but there's a little C down there. And we're just gonna put it right on this front. Okay. So, and the white wire and the red wire that I've removed, I'm just going to lay, lay in the bottom of this and abandon them in place. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is... Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the orange wire from the Easy Start and put it over here. In fact, I'm going to put it in the back on this what's called Herm terminal. You want to make sure you get it in the connector properly. So I'll do that and come back. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove this thick white wire. It's the compressor wire, but the way you know it's the compressor wire is if you follow it up here, you can see it's running through this hole, which then runs back around to the compressor over there. So we're gonna unplug this compressor wire and we are going to uh, cut the connector off and hook it with this brown wire. So we're going to pull that thick white, you know, the compressor wire, and then I'm going to cut the ends off and sp uh, connect it to this brown wire that came with the Easy Start. So I'll do that and come back. All right. So this is the compressor wire. Like I said, you can see that it's running through this hole, and it's the thicker wire because the compressor pulls more amps. So you want the thicker wire that's running back over there to the compressor. All right, so I'm going to cut the connector off of this, and I'm going to put these two together with a Wago connector that comes, lever connector that comes with the kit, and I'll show you that. Okay, so here we have it. I used wire cutters and my auto wire stripper, and I stripped wire off, and you can see the wire in the Wago connector, and then on this side, they're just little lever locks that move up and down, and once they're in, you can't pull it off. Okay, so now, all right, so now we are going to plug the Easy Start white wire in the position that you removed the compressor white wire from. And that's right back here. So I will do that and come back. 
Okay, so last but not least, we have to connect this blue wire. Um, and on my diagrams, this blue wire is actually connected on a circuit board that's in this area. But this newer, this is a 2022, this is a newer leisure and a newer Dometic model. So what you need to do is you need to look at your wiring diagram and see that there's a blue wire for the compressor. And that's one we want to cut into to put this black wire with. And you know that this goes to the compressor because you can follow it through this hole. You can see it's here and it runs around and if you remove that cap you would find a blue wire hooked on that terminal. So we're going to cut this blue wire and strip the ends and put it together with this black one with a, another lever Wago connector. So I'll show you that. All right, and so here we have it. Um, and they give you, like I said, they give you these connectors in the, um, in the installation kit, so you definitely want all that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a couple of zip ties on this to, um, you know, secure these a little bit better. And then I'm gonna put this cover back on and then I'll be putting the shroud for the whole, the cover on the whole air conditioning unit. But, um, so we're done with this. We're done with the easy, stall, easy start installation on a Dometic Penguin 2 air conditioner that are used in leisure travel vans.